How thin can a computer go? A new paper-thin computer is being unveiled in Vancouver this week, and it's showing the future of smartphones is flexible. Teresa Lalonde has the story. They're psychologists, artists, and computer scientists meeting all week to discuss and display ways humans interact with computers. One Canadian invention is getting a lot of buzz. It's being dubbed the paper phone because it's super thin and flexible. We can curve it and so it takes the shape of our body, which means I can take my phone and put it on my wrist as a bracelet. And I can't really do that with my current phone. It will be very clunky. It plays songs, holds books and movies. It does everything your smartphone can do, just differently. This is a Wacom digitizer which allows us to do pen. Um. And in the back, I can show you, um, those are six pressure sensors. Computer geeks in here love the idea, but what about the average people outside? I'm not into that stuff, so... I don't know if I'd like it. I'd feel like I'd rip it or something. That's pretty impressive. I wouldn't mind getting something paper thin. Bendable, it costs less if it won't break, right? And shatterproof and that kind of stuff. The design does have challenges. The display is only in black and white, something its makers hope to fix by the time it reaches market. That's in five to ten years, if they get investor interest. It's expected to cost the same as an average smartphone. So even though this paper phone is small enough to just slip into your back pocket, don't worry, you're not going to phone somebody every time you sit down. It's going to have a key lock on it. Teresa Lalonde, CBC News, Vancouver.